balances the score out here. We've actually, after these last few exchanges here, we've got a 10-8 to 8 score now, which is a much more even game. Uh, you know, and the experience in gold differential right now is negligible. That'll be made up in a, you know, a couple of kills or a tower kill or something like that. So no huge uh, change of events here going on. Gladiator's doing a little bit of farming. He's picked up a blood chalice. Uh, yeah, I guess that's... that's <laughs> why not? You can spam that uh, uh, pit trap more often. Yeah. This, um... <laughs> this little philosophical quote coming out here. No candle burns forever. Um, I don't know. I think... I don't know. I just, I'm really interested to see how, how Chu does on Mage Bane this game because... I don't know. I've seen people go tanky with him so they can at least stay in fights early, and I've seen people just rice for 30, 40 minutes, and I don't know. And then still fail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the couple times I remember actually seeing Mage Bane, he got, oh, we've got uh, the a bunch of stuff coming off under Tundra here, the money shot going in, the Gladiator Ultimate charging in here at the end, too. Uh, I think all he managed to pick up was the co -Earl, though, so maybe not the best of uh, Gladiator Ultimates, but still... Uh, a valiant charge into battle nonetheless. Yeah, he's, he's definitely using it. I like that, that he's using it a lot because a lot of people try to wait for like a perfect moment and I like that he's throwing it out here early game where things aren't, you know, it's not like, oh god, we don't have our gladiator ultimate, you know, for the next. Yeah. yeah. It's not generally one of those clutch things. I mean, it'll turn the tide of a battle, obviously, but it's, uh, it's just so hard to land and stuff. More people are probably accustomed to it not landing, so they just kind of do without it. <laughs> Well, the, 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 I mean, the main thing about that, like the, one of the most important things is that damage reduction because you can go in there like a madman, you know, and just tank this damage, get these kills that you wouldn't be able to get and get out of there and then oh, take Nice pitfall. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, what we've happened? got uh, Magnus coming down here. He missed the stun coming out under this gladiator and now Torture's going to be DPS down by Voodoo Jester. Uh, snaking on that Voodoo Jester, picking up the kill there. Oh, and Magnus doing the backwards run. He jumps through there and manages to get him. Oh, the pitfall barely going to miss. The Plague Rider ultimate coming out from the edge of the woods there. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, okay. It didn't bounce one more time. Man, that was just that close. But uh, now we've got Plague Rider and uh, <laughs> Tundra running in here. They're going to try and finish off this flint. But he does have some backup coming, so they got to be careful. Uh, Fade going ahead and tossing the stun out there, doing a little bit of mana burning. And the ultimate coming out. Oh, the pitfall just barely missed. Oh, that was a shame. Oh, okay, well. Warden picked up the kill with the uh, ultimate poison there anyway, so that was still a nice, uh, I guess, a relatively nice exchange. Uh, did they... I, no, Gladiator survived in that, so I don't know if they lost anyone or not. I was kind of lost in the haze of battle for a little bit. Yeah, this... I don't know, this is kind of an inter interesting game. We don't have a lot of people... Uh, well, until that last fight that we're having. Uh, it looks like Warden is going to be fine. We don't have a lot of people who are, um, you know, getting this massive free farm or anything. The gold per minutes are spiked right now, but before that, you know, 250 was the highest. People were running around and ganking and stuff, so. Yeah, up until uh, Flint got uh, ganked there, I guess, a couple times there, he's doing really well for himself. I mean, he's still up almost at, like, 290 right now, so that's still really, really impressive to have, and you, you need that on Flint because Flint, you know, once he gets his items and stuff built up, he's... Like I was saying earlier, he's just so destructive with the geometer's bane and everything. He's really hard to take down. And not that they're lacking the, you know, the AoE to go ahead and nullify, essentially, geometers, but it does it does help out substantially. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. Gladiator, how's Gladiator doing? I haven't really looked at him. Sabuska on that Gladiator. Last time I watched a, a match with Sabuska on Gladiator, it was pretty damn entertaining, so... Uh, gonna have to see how uh, Sabuska pulls off this Gladiator this time around as well. But uh, he's up at um, 284 gold per minute, which, you know, looking at this Hellborn side, look at how low their gold per minutes are versus, you know, the Legion. So the Legion's doing a pretty good job here so far in maintaining gold per minute and um, keeping a little bit of an advantage going. Yeah, he's been, um, Sabuska's been doing very well so far. He's been landing some really nice pit traps and a lot of people are, oh, we've got we've got a fight going down. Um, and oh, another nice oh, pitfall nice coming crap. out. Catch it. Oh, and the ultimate to follow. Oh, and he gets it off before the Tundra yep. ultimate comes out as well. Very oh, nice. Very nice indeed. But, oh, his plan was foiled by the Plague Rider ultimate. And <laughs> uh, 
yeah, that was pretty much a huge part of that little story there. Is yeah, they got all taken down very quickly by that, and now Slither's going to be joining in on the fun. Bam! And wow. Where did Flint get? Oh, there he is. I was going to say Flint was trying to get his ultimate off onto Torturer, but he decided to cancel it wisely. I would say, uh, as they were continuing to chase. I don't know what he's doing here, but that's kind of gutsy. Well, he's probably going to get away with it, too. I mean, this Blood Chalice comes up on Magmus here Plus pretty soon. Oh, there it is. Oh, he goes ahead and uses the power supply. Oh, and he's going to use his ultimate now. Wow. Mm. Kind of an odd choice there. And uh, now they are going to pay for it in exchange. So I was really slow. waiting for Fade to get no one right there. Just stun them both. They both run with no HP, but he got one. Yeah, managed to pick up one, thankfully. So it wasn't a total loss, but man, they that was a four, I guess a four for one, or well, five for one, because they managed genocide. to pick him up. Yeah, it was a genocide there. So, and all they managed to pick out of it was Magnus. So that was pretty, pretty bad. And that was a re really, in my opinion, it was a pretty nice initiation. You had the pitfall land from Sabuska, and you had the chariot run in there, right? Perfect. Landed on at least two or three of them. Oh, in middle, we got another nice pitfall oh, coming God. out of Mage Bane. They got the stun lock going off on him. He's not getting out. He goes down. So, very nice. But, uh, yeah, he was kind of sitting there at half health, too. So, it was a little bit uh, gutsy to be sitting out there as far as he was, anyways. But all things considered, he has a decent farm so far. So he's got 2,300 right now, and he just died, so he had 2,600. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, he's sitting at 250 gold per minute, and you know, look at that. Oh, that flint has just continued to drop there after dying yet again. He's now one and three, and his gold has dropped from a little bit over 300 down to about 250. So he's matching that mage bane, but. You know, it's very important for them to keep these um, hard, these carries for the Legion team down. And Magnus kind of jetting through the woods there. Pitfall trap. Excellent pitfall trap. Going to land there yet again. And the chariot coming in to finish off the job as it knocks him out of his steam bath. But no, now they've got the Hellborn coming back in to go ahead and back him up. Oh, and wow. And they managed to pick up a double tap on Chu. Uh, and uh, who was it that picked up the other kill there? Out. Oh, okay. Torture picked up the other kill, and now Flint's going to go down to Chew yet again. So, wow. Definitely um, not going very well for this Legion team. They, I, really, again, I think that they had everything going for them at the beginning of that fight, other than that just, you know, I guess the Hellborn had all of their team ready to go there. You know, they came in guns blazing and managed to pick off those three people before you know, Flint and uh, Fade could make their presence really known in the fight. And like you said, those are kind of single target, you know, heroes, Flint and Fade, both. You know, so if you got five heroes there, they're going to take you down pretty quick. So very unfortunate that, uh, you know, those nice pitfalls and uh, ultimates aren't coming into great effect yet. Yeah, I, if I was Sabuska, like, I'd be so depressed because he's he's been doing, he's had some really great pitfalls. It's just like Pyro in a sense where, if you can't land your stuns or your pitfalls, you're 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 really, lo you know, your team's losing out. That's a big, you know. Oh yeah, you you're you know you're basically just a, a you know a melee machine at that point. So you're not that uh, that useful. So definitely a big part of that is landing those pitfalls. That's probably one of the most important things that he can do, besides that ultimate, of course. And you know he's been doing all of it. He's been landing them. I mean I've only seen like a couple uh, here that he's missed, but there's been some. Tr amazingly clutch ones here that he's pulled off that just haven't panned out in the end because he didn't have the support in the end to, yeah. to follow through or you know they just got overwhelmed in these team fights like you were saying and the, and the Hellborn have been very good on like like that last fight Magmus you know he was getting raped and everything and I didn't think they were going to but they came in and they you know he was going to die but they took the chance to um, took that opportunity to make you know make um something good happen out of it and that was really good and uh, I don't know I, it's not it's not looking too good for Legion right now the yeah, way these the, last fights have gone and yeah, choose getting some decent farm so mm -hmm. yeah the more more and uh, these fights are coming here as they are getting into the team fight mode here you know instead of just the you know the individual lane kind of sense uh, really I'm starting to see more what you're talking about earlier about the superior team fight capabilities you know because all of these guys have such big AOE you know splash damage things that they can do here to cause such chaos in these team fights that, you know, I think that's really what has won them these last at least two major team fights 
you know, they managed to pull off the big AoE stun from Torturer, or they managed to pull off the, the Tundra Ultimate, which, you know, has a disable on one hero and shoves everyone else out of the way. And uh, Plague Rider Ultimate was huge in that top fight, so I don't even yeah. know. Did it get used in the bottom one there? My memory, I swear I gotta get some Ginkgo or something. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I don't... I don't know. I know that Chu came in and ulted at like the <laughs> perfect time and everybody blew up. Yeah, he at least got a double kill on that one. I remember then he picked up the last kill at the tower, so he had three kills coming out of that fight. And look at Chu now. He's 7 and 4. So and that's he's, his, he's up that's to 321. That's fight in a row, too, where he's gotten three. The top, he got three. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's exactly what you need on Mage Bane to make him uh, an important uh, part of your team here late game you got to get him farmed uh, you got to give him those uh, gold per minutes up and he is he's at 322 right now gold per minute he's taking the lead over any of the legion team members uh, you know they still have some pretty reasonable ones with Sabuska there and uh, oh team fight coming out top here we've got fade getting caught out by the tundra ultimate the cold shoulder following up and uh, oh the gladiator ultimate gonna land nice ultimate yet again the pitfall wasn't even needed but it was gonna land if he had survived Mage Bane coming in to try and clean up here. Magmas popping his ultimate. Oh, he breaks it, though, before he can finish it. Uh, as he guess he wanted to go ahead and continue to try and chase down this Gladiator. Oh, the slow coming off. I don't think... No, it did not hit Mage Bane. But uh, now Flint's got to worry about getting out of here. And Oh, he did a lot of damage to Magmas, but not quite enough. Is he going to be able to finish him off here as... Whoa, where are you going, Flint? Flint... Oh, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it out of here. Oh, beautiful. Man, just using that shroud just perfectly, and Chu could not manage to get the auto attack to go off to go ahead and finish him out there. That was just infuriating, I'm sure. Mm. And Chu also finishing up the runed axe, and Magmus making it out of there alive. So. I was yeah. kind of worried when they when they went kind of all or nothing, it looked like there at the end. Chu getting locked down again. Yes, he is. Wow. Did uh, she come in? Yeah, she came in with her ultimate. I was wondering. He didn't have his normal reaction time that he seems to. So, yeah, she was in Viz. Didn't see that one coming quite there. But uh, we've, you know, uh, man. <laughs> I'm going to try and touch on some items here while I'm still dumbfounded. As uh, Voodoo Jester has his Blood Chalice finished. He's got those Striders for the nice map presence that those will provide, letting him get around here. And Fade trying to do a little bit of a run down here. The ultimate coming off onto Torture. Not going to finish him out, though. And Fade now in a really bad situation as she goes down to the nukes. And the Puzzle Box minions as well being summoned there. Who picked them? I'm guessing Torture has got to be, right? No, that's Tundra. Tundra? And it's a little two box. So he's, he's getting to the point where they're going to have major problems. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, level two. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. So, yep, they're... Hmm. It's 21 to 22. We have a 6,600 experience lead for the Hellborn and a, about a 3,000 gold lead. So, gold lead's not so huge. Uh, experience lead, though, you know, that's starting to become more impressive. I mean, especially since they keep winning team fights. That's the big part of this story here. If they keep winning these team fights, then it's just going to be miserable for this poor Legion to try and make their way back out of this. And, you know, Chu's doing nothing but an improvement. He's up to 8 and 5. Uh, I guess his gold did drop a little bit. He's still over the 300 mark, though. So that you know, as the game you know continues here, we're at 25 minutes. 300 gold per minute adds up. Yes, it does. And on items still yet, we have Gladiator. Looks he's got a bastard sword, so that's used in the assassin shroud too, right? Yeah. Okay, yep. so he's probably gonna go ahead and pick up his assassin shroud. Uh, has his blood chalice that he's been using for those nice pit. Uh, pitfall spams as he's been doing a great job with those and Flint what do we have on Flint oh Flint's very close to his geometers he's got his blessed orb he has his firebrand how much gold is Flint sitting on uh, 405 yep he just needs about 100 here to go ahead and wrap out his uh, geometers and we've got Magmus <laughs> pulling out a nice little bit of a hidden secret here oh pitfall coming up from the middle of nowhere coming out of those trees uh, taking him down really quick here. Tundra's going to be following, no doubt. And Plague Rider running in, maybe not the wisest thing to do. No, uh, it's... No, nah, that's not that wise at all. Uh, hat trick coming off in favor... What the hell? Hat trick for... Snaking. Snaking, okay, on Voodoo Jester. All right, okay. That's just what had me. I was like, is that Voodoo Jester who got a, <laughs> a hat trick? So, uh, yeah, I guess he managed to pick up the, uh, the hat trick there. Nice on him, but uh, they still ended up losing both Snaking and Fade 
in exchange for three others, but, you know, the important part of that story is that uh, Chu survived and managed to pick up a kill or two, so now he's 10 and 5. Yeah, the sad thing to me 